got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Sean B. Nice back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus or Samsung Galaxy. Also, though, it's also gonna be towards for Android users in general, right? So a lot of people who own, you know, Android devices, y'all, believe it or not, they still do not know how to do some of Android's most known for things, you know what I mean? Now, there are a lot of people who have iOS devices who always try to bag on Android for not having certain features, you know what I mean? So today, we're gonna kind of put all that to rest, right? So I'll be kind of giving you guys, you know, general ideas. Like I said, it, this is also for the Samsung, but I'm also gonna be kind of throwing in tips and tricks just for Android in general. Now. One thing someone asked me about in particular was the camera. Now, me personally, I kind of know Samsung's camera quite well, so that's why I had no problem talking about this. So, first thing we're gonna do first is double tap the power button and get to the camera, right? So, now what some people don't know is that with Samsung camera, especially the front-facing camera, what this is definitely related to the front-facing camera is the, the filter that they have. Now, I'm gonna switch camera mode here. So you guys see me, hey, what's up? Um, now here's this little button right here. And skin tone. You guys wanna set that to, we can zoom in a little bit. No, no, I don't want you Bixby. Chill. All right, here we go. All right, so you guys see that? It's what's a skin tone. Y'all wanna make sure that's on zero. The reason why y'all wanna make sure that's on zero because Samsung, some odd reason, applies this beauty filter on all of the devices and it kind of makes sure it's supposed to clear out blemishes but also kind of make your skin look like you got like a lot of makeup on kind of pasty like me personally i'm cool on that i don't i don't need that right so i i definitely turn that off um now let's kind of like dive a little bit deeper into the actual settings of the phone right so that's gonna be top left hand corner so here we have picture size video size Tracking autofocus, shape correction, timer, um, picture size. This is for the front-facing camera now. Video size for the front-facing camera, shooting method, save picture as. You know, pretty much all your common settings. So let's kind of go through them a little bit, step by step. So picture size, obviously you guys know what that is. You can change the uh, what, how many megapixels, megapixels you want. Hell, did I say megapixels? What the hell is megapixels? Anyway, megapixels. You can change the, the quality of your photo, right? How many megapixels you want to be shot at. And then also the aspect ratio. So you got four by three, 16 by nine, 18.5 18 by nine, which is pretty much two to one. So that's that. Now video size. So here's the thing. Me, personally, I like to shoot my videos in full HD, 60 frames per second, just like the one you're seeing now. Um, then you have quad HD, QHD, um, full HD. Then you got the lower modes here. Now, just know when you put in UHD, Quad HD, and 60 frames per second, you lose these features here. Okay? So, not a huge deal, but just kind of give you a heads up. Uh, I, I normally have shape correction on. I don't really know what the hell it does, but I have it on. Um, video size of the front, keep it 8 megapixels. You can also change the front facing camera to Quad HD. You can shoot that in 2K resolution as well. Uh, I keep on motion photo, right? So motion photo, for those who don't know, I kind of give you guys a demonstration. Let's grab this Samsung box, right? So let's back out. So we're gonna take a picture. Boom, right? So you're gonna see a gallery. Now you hit this little play button right here and you would see like two seconds before the actual photo was taken. Now, that, yes, that's very similar to um, Apple 3D Touch, but it's a feature, nonetheless, you have it, okay? Plain and simple. So, let's go back into the settings. Uh, what else we got? Video, stab video stabilization, you definitely want that on. Uh, now me, here's another thing too, a little trick. From what I've noticed, especially when filming, you kinda wanna keep this storage location set to the device, right? And I think because it has something to do with the read and write speed. Now, when I had mine set, at, um, set to my SD card, my video quality seemed a little bit different. And I guess because at the rate that it was trying to write on the SD card, it wasn't able to read it or something like that. I could be wrong, but like I said, the video quality seemed quite different from when I recorded it 
on an SD card for a storage location is concerned versus when I did it on a device. So what you want to do is keep it on the device and then when you want to move that video to your SD card, then do so then. Um, you also have voice control. You have a floating camera um, button icon. So that's the new thing that Samsung added. So pretty much you have a floating shutter button. See? Very simple. Um, they also have this feature here that most people don't know about. If you sit there and hold your hand by the camera, if it catches it, there we go. Close it, boom, you take a photo. That's simple. So um, that's very, come on, I got my face. I want everybody seeing how bad I look, look all rough. Anyway, uh, that's another cool little nifty feature, right? So the next feature, well, we can close the camera app. Uh, the next feature we can kind of look at is the edge panel. Now the edge panel has incorporated a lot of the Note 7 features, right? So what I mean by that, when the Note 7 came out, you know, they have, um, well, the Note period, just the, long, the Note line in general always have features with the S Pen specifically. Now, first, let's talk about this Edge Panel before we get into these features right here. So, me personally, I use the Edge Panel, but I don't like to see it. So, what I do is go to Settings, and then let's go to uh, Handle Settings, right? So, I like to make mine completely transparent. I don't want to see that bar. You see, when it's like that, then you can see the bar. I don't want to see that. I don't need to see. It. I know. I know where I got it at. But you know, when you when you trying to reorder or whatever, you see, you can see how where your thumb normally rests at. You can put it wherever you want to put it at. And also turn vibration off. If you're a righty or lefty, that's up to you. You can put it on the left side. You can put it on the right side. And then I want the size large, so I'm able to always get to it by swiping over. Right. So now let's go back to those features. So. Come on, all right. So here you got pen to top, animation, GIF, oval and rectangle. So let's go, you know what, let's go to YouTube. Wasn't it, was it on my front page? Thought it was, okay, here we go. So let's go to YouTube. All right, so uh, shout out to the boy Jake Black. I watch his videos quite often, that man is fire. So anyway, here we got. Hi, I'm Tommy. I yeah, okay. Tommy. So here you have the features, right? So you got rectangle. So pretty much is, yes, allow. Okay, come on. So pretty much this is how you can crop out something specifically for a rectangle size. So you can go here, you can edit it, change like that, boom. And you hit done. Then, now you also have an option which is uh, smart share. You can, you can draw on it, you can share, you can set it as uh, always on display or uh, Excuse me, or you can save it. So that's that, right? <clears throat> Same thing with the oval. I don't think that's, that's something we have to do continuously. So let's do, but let's let me show you the gift joint, right? So you in here, all right? You got animation. So say I want this gift right here, right? You hit record. Record for, you know what I'm saying, just Shout record for a little John bit. I wish I could record network. him saying, shake my hand. Charge, That's that uh, joint right there. But anyway, see now, you, you got your gift. Shout out to Sam Song for that. I think that is a, a very, very, very to, cool uh, feature. You know, um, I, I, I personally love that feature, right? I think that that feature is dope and very underrated. It's just something else that people don't know about, right? So that's the Edge Pound in a nutshell. Now. This is not in particular to Samsung. This is just um, Android in general, right? So a lot of people are sometimes jealous of iOS because of the cool, dope features that they have as far as, you know, sending gifts, certain emojis, blah, 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 whatever the case is. But here with Android messaging, that's what it's called in the Google Play Store, you can do that. All you need is Android messaging and the Google, the Google keyboard. So. Let's say if I want to send a gift to my fiance, I'm sorry, wife, I want to send a gift to her, I can go here, search the gifts, I'm going to put you mad, and I can select that, right, and send it. Boom. A lot of people don't know Android can do stuff like that because it's like, that's not something that's pretty much, that's not its only selling point versus like iMessage, you know, that's one of the iPhone's known for features, right, iMessage, so they got to make sure they tell you every single feature in there. And you know, uh, here you had a, the different keyboards, stuff like that. You know, I mean, different emojis, I'm sorry. Now, one thing I like about Samsung having this big screen, instead of having the 
keyboard, change the keyboard thing up here, they put it at the bottom now, right? So now I personally use a Samsung keyboard and I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why right now. It's because Samsung now has a lot more emojis. They didn't touch on this in the unboxing video, I mean an unbox event, I don't know why, I mean unpacked event, I don't know why, but Samsung, look at all those new emojis. So you got the engineers, all right, you got the engineers, the doctors, farmers, I mean, you name it, yo. Astronauts, you can change all the skin tones. Um, oh, wait, gotta change one right now. You slip through the cracks. You know, you can change all the skin tones, so, uh, you know, all of your characters and whatnot. You know what I mean? So, that's, you know, except for these. These are, these are dominant. So, no matter, you can't change skin tone on these joints here. Those are dominant. But everything else, you all good on them. So, that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, the new Samsung keyboard has a lot of, um, what do you call it? A lot of uh, emojis, a lot more new emojis rather. So now the next thing we're going to speak on as far as the, uh, you know, a feature turn, and this is going back to Samsung, is performance mode, right? So right now my performance mode is still on game. I forgot to turn it off when I was uh, playing a game. And here, but here's the thing, you hit details, you can change it to whatever you feel like. So optimize is normally what I run Right, and then you go into settings. I run it at WQHD uh, video enhancer, which is kind of make the colors just, uh, pop a little bit more. Then you have the U the UHQ upscale. That's pretty much for your headphones to kind of make those sounds pop a little bit more, which it does a pretty fantastic job, especially in the car. I hate to say it, but even though the ver even though the usability as far as Bluetooth being connected to the car, being able to control your music with your steering wheel is good, but sometimes. You know, when you listen to a certain song, you want to plug your audio your audio cord in straight to your radio, and that's a huge difference. Anybody can tell you that. Your aux cord to the radio, directly to the radio, is miles better than having it Bluetooth. So, just kind of keep that in mind. Now, another another cool feature that a lot of people are kind of like, I guess you could say, sleep on for the most part, is link sharing. That is a Samsung exclusive feature. Um, now, for some odd reason, from what I noticed, some carry all carriers don't have this. I know T-Mobile does, and I know Sprint does. I know AT&T does not, for some odd reason. I don't know why that is, but what link sharing is, you pretty much, <clears throat> if you have a huge file, right, a huge video, whatever the case is, you're going to go to share, and you can put, now it says image or video file because this is actually a motion photo, but we just go image file, right? And I can hit link sharing. Now, we'll see what link sharing is, is if you share a large file up to one gigabyte, you can share a file, you know, as long as it's up to one gigabyte, you can share that with somebody and you can download the original quality of it. So that's a huge, huge bonus, especially if you're a Samsung owner, because now you can send a video to somebody as long as it's under a gig um, without losing this quality. And they can download that straight from the cloud that Samsung provides to you for free. So, you know, shout out to Samsung for that. That's definitely a dope feature. Um, what else? Okay, another thing too that people now I'm not gonna lie, iMovie killing the game, right? But Samsung does have something that's similar. It's called Movie Maker. So what Movie Maker is is pretty much you just you know you can create your videos and you can uh, all your videos that go here you can go ahead and make you know a, a video or a movie whatever the case is. Uh, that's something else. You you have to download that separately though from the Samsung Galaxy App Store. But I definitely like that. It's it's definitely dope. Um, so let's see what else we got. We got multitasking. Now, here's another dope feature, right? So say you are in YouTube, right? But you like, yo, I just got a text message. Hold that down. We was just on text. Boom. You right there. Texting, no problem. Now, another thing too that people don't use this feature a lot for is the pop-up view. You slide down. Now, it's kind of hard to get now because it just... Uh, the way it's shaped. Come on, if I can get it. There we go. So you pretty much put this little window in the box now, right? And you can continue doing what you're doing. Let me move this up. If I had a video playing, let's play this video. I can continue doing what I'm doing while still watching the video, right? If I want to minimize and turn it into a little bubble, I can. Now I got a little floaty bubble. You know what I mean? So that's another feature that people kind of sleep on with, you know, especially with Samsung devices. That is not an Android feature that's exclusively to Samsung, right? So, and this, you know, when you want to get out of it, you just hit the X. 
and boom, you done. So <clears throat> that's that's it, you know, as far as the uh, top, you know, the features are concerned. Did like I said, this video was to kind of more so show people um, about Samsung exclusive features, also a couple of Android features that you, some of you guys don't know about. And also with Android messaging, I forgot to mention it uh, supports RCS technology. So I don't now I know T-Mobile has their own RCS messaging app. I mean, you know, by default, so I don't think they are incorporated with Google yet. But Google is pretty much trying to have everybody have Android messaging installed on default as far as the messaging service is concerned because it supports RCS. That way, it's very similar to IMS. I mean, iMessage where you're able to send text and you know you can see read receipts and stuff like that. So that that's the point of that. Another thing I almost forgot, y'all, is one of the dopest feature on a Samsung device, which is called the secure folder, right? So secure folder is pretty much like having an entirely different phone. So hold on, let me see. As you can see, as soon as I hit secure folder, it's asking for my iris scan. So let me type, let me put that in real quick. All right. So here you can see. I have a lot of different apps. So here is pretty much like you can put any phone, I mean, any app in here uh, that you kind of want hidden that you want everybody else to see. So for example, let's say, you know, to keep it a buck, if you're doing something dirty, you got a different Facebook, you got a different Snapchat, it will be in this folder here. And whatever you do in this folder, it will not be accessible through your regular phone. So it's only even try to get into this folder. They can't they either need your fingerprint or they got to snatch your eyeball out your head. You know, that's it's not going to happen. So you can put pictures in here. Like I said, if you got two Snapchat account, uh, you can have a Snapchat in your regular phone. You can have a Snapchat in your secure folder. And you know what I'm saying? You're good either way. Uh, last but not least, uh, this is an Android feature. Um, now, <laughs> to keep it real, everybody go to Android because of the stuff you can watch that you can't watch everywhere else. So, for example, I couldn't end this video without mentioning about where is that? Where is that? Cody. For y'all who don't know, Cody is the same thing that they got on um, Amazon. Basically, you came at the wrong time. Cody is the same thing they got on uh, like the Amazon Fire Stick where you can watch anything. So you has got to get this little app right here called Exodus and you can watch whatever you want to watch. You know what I mean? Uh, movies, uh, TV shows, whatever. And actually, I found an installer that made life for me a lot easier. So you see right here, complete Cody setup. You install that app, and then you tell it pretty much what you want to install on Cody, and then install it for you. You all set. Boom. That's simple. So yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was very informative to you guys. I uh, put a lot of work into that, trying to research and make sure I kind of got useful features. That's the thing. We want to make sure you give people useful features, especially with these videos. So it's your boy Sean. Be nice. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm out.